Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in to another episode of FU Awesome. I'm Ajax. And I'm Stone. Today, we're going to be reviewing Moscow Mule from Smirnoff. That sounds pretty exciting. Uh... Yeah, I know we were both surprised I got that right. I, I looked at the drink before we started. Mm -hmm. Very surprised. Yeah, I know. I looked at my notes too. He does take notes. <laughs> it's pathetic. You know, I don't take notes, and that's why I get everything wrong. Fair enough. Yeah, stay in school. Yeah, how was your drive in today? Uh, so, you know when you're driving, and I'm, I'm pretty sure everybody's seen like a random, like one tennis shoe on the highway or interstate, just like a random tennis shoe, like, man, that's weird. So I, I, I'm pretty sure I saw the strangest thing coming in, and, and I'm 100% positive this is what I saw because I swerved around it. I'm pretty positive I swerved around a green dildo with little tiny half balls on it, like rolling on the road. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, what is that? And <laughs> that's what it looked like. It looked like a green dildo with little balls on it. And then, <laughs> yeah, and then there's a car uh, probably going 50 miles an hour below the speed limit, and I passed the car. And this dude smoking on the uh, eBay. Oh my! I bet this—that's the guy that threw it out the window. <laughs> what? What are you in? How, what route did you take to get here? Uh, I took a Dodge because all the other roads are destroyed because we're uh, from Nebraska. Yep, and under the, uh, the roads are gone. Thank you, Mother Nature. Yeah, but uh, so yeah, I uh, I'm pretty positive I did not run over a green dildo with balls on it today. What would, what would make somebody throw one of those out, do you think? <laughs> I have no idea. You just start talking back and... No, you're out. You were done. I almost wish I would have stopped <laughs> and picked it up with a glove <laughs> just to show you that this is I, what I sort of around. I'm super happy you did not. I'm super happy that... Man, I... <laughs> I swear to God, it was a green dildo with two half balls on it. <laughs> so, uh, at this point, I'd like to thank our sponsors. Green Dildos. Green Dildos. That's not true. Sorry, Art. Thank you to our sponsors who probably don't want to be mentioned at this point. In the, right. The let's, let's wait a little bit to mention Are you sure? Sponsors. I mean... Yeah. I, I mean, if I was one of our sponsors, which I'm not, uh, I would I would like a little distance between our name and a Green Dildo. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, so we are going to do Moscow Mules, which I love, 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 love Moscow Mules. Um, you want to do from last week, aside from the taser action, more cops. Like they, they definitely want you to be tased. Man, they know what we're doing. They want. <laughs> so, cops in the background. That's wild. We're not even in a really bad area. So. No, I mean, no, we're not in a bad area. We're, we're in a kind of a cool place. I know. They just want Ajax to be staged again. That's what that's I, what they want. I think so. I like this. This. <laughs> this person. <laughs> has got, he's, he's got to learn his lesson. So, uh, do you want to roll the uh, dice to see uh, who, who gets to read the front or back? Yeah, we'll do that. Nice. And uh, I only have a two dice here, so it's... Yeah, just two. Just two, all right. You wanna pick yours up? Yeah, do this. They're, uh, what, D D12s, I guess? Sure, D12. Yeah. All right, shall we? Yeah! A three. Son of a Oh my god. <laughs> I drew a one. <laughs> yes! Yes. You did. Oh, that's I hilarious. Did. Uh, that's awesome. See, you know, I, I, uh, I've been to Vegas. Gave a chance. Yeah, I've been to Vegas and I uh, I gambled for like 30 seconds and I lost 20 bucks. So I'm I'm terrible at chance and gambling. So that's why I don't Damn. actually do it. That's like my buddies who bet on the Huskers. <laughs> this year. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna to uh, read this here. Uh, so Moscow Mule, ginger and lime infused. Just add ginger ale, which we're not going to because we're men, so we're just gonna drink it straight. Um, limited edition, which makes it more uh, valuable, I guess. Sure, why not? Uh, until we open it. 
no one knows a Moscow Mule like we do. Uh, we invented it back in 1941. That's why we's, we've made this limited edition special bottle with citrus and a kick of ginger flavor. All you have to do is add ginger ale, not doing, and serve over rice and throw in a wedge of lime, not doing, uh, if you're feeling fancy, which we never are. Uh, thanks, uh, Smirnoff. Yeah, so actually, uh, for me personally, I love the Moscow Mule. I love it. It's a good drink, copper mug, ice, great, great spring, summer drink. Love it. We even have the, uh, we've drank them a... Drink? 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 Drink, drink, drink drunk. Drink, drink. <laughs> we, we even have the uh, copper mugs here behind us, so uh, we drink them a relatively decent amount at the office, but we've never actually had uh, a pre-mixed uh, Moscow Mule. We always, yeah. you know, mixed it ourselves, so. Yeah, we're usually at the heavy pours and the... And this is a quantity of control. What do you, what do you think about that? Yeah. So, uh, do you want to do you, uh, give us a pour? Yeah, sure. Let's, right. let's go ahead and make this happen. Right. Sounds good. Moscow meals right out of the uh, bottle. Yeah. So, how's, how's it smell? Uh, oh man, it smells good. It smells like summer and spring. All wrapped <sighs> in a little ball. Oh, it smells like oh, goodness. Oh, I just want to cuddle up with this, like in a blankie. Yeah. No, it's good. Good. And I, like, I know uh, they say the copper's poisonous, so I mean, there's that aspect. However, it does leave an impact. It makes the drink much better. It's chilled. Yeah. It's wonderful. Like, even with the uh, ice cube in it, I can definitely yeah. tell the it comes in cold. Oh, man, I just want to drink this right now. It's so good. <laughs> I like it. It's a. Uh, it's actually really good. Like, uh, we drink uh, Moscow meals on a relatively regular basis. So, you know, we go to a bar, restaurant, or whatever, and this is one of the things that we yeah. And this tastes exactly like it. Like, I, I, I can't tell what is missing of this nut. I know on the bottle it said, you know, uh, insert lime or whatever extra thing that they wanted, but like, I can't tell the difference. And it makes me sad that uh, on the bottle it said uh, limited edition. I think that they should just make this normally because, like, I would oh, have yeah. this in my house. No, it'd be nice. Like, uh, yeah. be great for a party. Dump it in a, basically a bowl of ice, a little dipping cup. Off to the races. Yeah. Now, me personally, uh, I think that if you do not like this, which some people don't, some people don't like carbonation. Oh, the carbonation, yeah, yeah. Then, as it stands, this is perfect for you. Me, I'd like to see uh, the carbonation from the ginger, ginger ale be in there. And there is a little bit of lime in there, but again, I like the intense bold flavors, like everything should be extreme. Um, if it's gonna be horrible, you make sure that it punches you in the face, as well as good. You know, if it's gonna be super awesome, make sure you put all the good ingredients in there so that it's a, a vibrant flavor. And I think, me personally, I would like the carbonation in there because that it just adds to the overall experience. We'd like to thank our sponsors, 92 West, Cutting Edge Business Cards, and 77 South Company. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to do the things that we love. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you liked our t-shirts as you've seen in our previous video and at the end of this one, there's a link below that you can get one for yourself.